What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Prop In. If this is your first time here, I go with the most Spear Spear. What we do on this channel is that we explore and showcase some of the most beautiful homes in and around South Africa. Today we are in Centurion, which is an area in Gauteng, just between Pretoria and Midrand in the exclusive Cornwall Hill country estate, looking at this five bedroom elegant home. This home was recently re refurbished and renovated by the award-winning interior designer Audi Sneeman and you'll see how elegant and timeless and tasteful the interior is. So excited to share this home with you guys. Just a little bit of space in terms of this home. It's five bedrooms all en suite. The home is 1,650 square meters internal space on, a la on land rather which is just under a hectare. So excited to share this tour or this home with you guys. And this home is actually the only home on this entire estate that has direct access to the Second World War Memorial site for the SA pilots. It's called the Cornwall Hill Kopi. So very special home. Before we get into this tour though, massive thanks to Lisa Kelly for allowing us access to her exclusive listing. I'll put her details down below and also the listing details down below. And as always, if you haven't yet subscribed, do go subscribe, tell us which areas you'd like us to tour next. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's prop in. So beginning the tour on this moto, court leading you up to this very elegant castle-like entryway but before we get that just looking back at this long driveway which leads you up to the main landing of the home but as you drive up you are hedged by this beautiful vegetation and sort of a tropical landing here you'll see throughout when we get to the gardens a very lush and tropical garden but as you see here very stunning and elegant and as i said almost castle like but before we get into this home i just like to point out um, the garage but approaching the garage as you can see this motor court is very large in terms of parking cars i mean you can look at it and guess for yourself. Massive amounts of parking space. And even in the front of the house, you can park 30 plus cars, which I'll show you guys. So approaching this car garage, you have these four roller automatic or electric roller doors rather. As you enter here, you're greeted by this very nice epoxy floored uh, finish to these floors. Very ideal for your luxury cars you can park nine luxury cars in this garage i'm sure the car fanatics or the luxury car enthusiasts in the comments are already going crazy in terms of this garage but just talking to this or pointing to this while we're here you do have a battery and inverter system that back that has full backup power for the home so in times of load shedding and shortage of power you are sorted and you'll never have um, blackouts and just touching on the, the water supply of the home, you have a 20,000 litre storage tank providing or pumping water rather into the home. So as well with water, you'll never have any problems of a shortage. So coming up here to this level of the garage, you also have this epoxy finish to the flooring. And as you see in front of us, very stunning. <laughs> it's our first ever sort of, what, what, what can I call this, Formula One car. This is a race car. It's not a Formula One <laughs> car, but it is a Formula car. It's a Formula car, first ever one that we've seen on the show. And as you can see, it's it's in it's in its own or it's suited to this environment as you have a four-post 
lift that takes you up to the workshop, which is above here. It's almost as it's almost a mezzanine-like floor. You have the workshop there, and as you can see, you can park nine cars throughout this garage here. And because the driveway is very steep, and if you don't want to drive your luxury cars up that first driveway, which I showed you guys, you can use the secondary driveway to drive up your luxury cars, which is more suited for that. So going back into the garage, just before heading out the garage, beautiful LED light strips above here, which when there are cars in here, it's a fantastic sort of showroom-like feature. So coming back this side, but before we get there, there is an, a doorway which leads you into the home, but coming down here, there's another door as well here. So coming out the garage and going back to the entryway of this home, so as you approach this large entryway, in terms of the volumes here, it's absolutely impressive. The amount of ceiling, or the height of the ceiling, which you'll see better on the interior. But as you come here, you're greeted by this lovely bronze statue with this fountain-like or water feature, which resembles a skirt around the, the bronze uh, statue. Very neat area, garden or vegetation either side of the entryway and leads you to this very stunning and very impressive entryway you have this pivot door leading you to this landing and as you come in here very stunning entrance suspended light fixtures for this entryway just increasing that elegance and style of this entryway so as you come here in front of us you have this fireplace which as we'll show you guys in the cutaway shots, is absolutely stunning, especially in those colder winter months. In front of us, you have this steel-like frame, which frames this living space so perfectly, and even the view, which we will get at um, so perfectly. But before we get into too much detail here, just pointing to this LED lit stairwell, which is very stunning, and then to my left, you have a piano here, um, which will be very cool if I could play for you guys. But coming to this side, as you can see here, formal, formal dining area, lounge, indoor swimming pool, and kitchen. And just in terms of the, the flow and the airiness of the space, very stunning. In terms of connectivity of each of these spaces, it's almost that open, open plan, open living, where there aren't any overt boundaries within the space. So here you get this lounge area where above us you get this, this area here where you, you do have the suspended uh, projector which does come out the ceiling or the suspended ceiling and points to this large projector which also does come out the ceiling. In front of us you have this, these double French doors, glass French doors rather, opening up to this stunning indoor heated pool. I love the fact that from this pool, you have this incredible view of the R21, the dam and the overall landscape in the sort of Cornwall area. Very stunning. And the double volumes, I'm sure you guys did see from the entryway, double volumes here, but almost triple volume, volume ceilings that side. Absolutely stunning. The amount of natural light and pouring into this room, magnificent. So going back into this living space and just pointing out this 12-seater formal dining area, very stunning and also leads perfectly onto that co covered patio area. Above us, you do have sunken or suspended uh, ceiling. Surrounding it, you do have surround sound within this whole area and the entire house. This home is fully automated with this tablet. You can use this tablet or an app on your phone to control things such as lighting, heating, and blinds. Everything really is automated in this home, which is very much convenient. And as we come here to this incredible kitchen, one detail I really like to point out to you guys is this beautiful, solid Minga wood countertop. This countertop was specifically picked out by the owners and then was repurposed and refurbished just to use as a countertop. Very stunning, very natural and in this environment sticks out and for me I love this piece. So coming this side you do have all this cabinetry space which you can be using for your utensils and all that type of stuff. And now if you bring everyone this side I want to show you guys this incredible multi-function agar gas oven and stove. 
this this brand is a brand a British brand which is over a hundred years and it's a very stunning uh, piece a statement piece in this entire kitchen you do have multi multi functions here as you do have sort of an oven fix um, oven function here and then you do have sort of an, a stove like fixture and on top of it being I think the the, the, the cooking enthusiasts in watching this video will tell us more about how how incredible the food comes out from this um, stove because it is sort of an iron cast a holistic heating system but then aside from the cooking aspect or the food preparation aspect of the stove it's also used in the winter months just to heat up this entire space there is a setting on the stove that is a sort of a it goes into a slumber like mode and heats up this entire space so very fantastic so coming towards this side of this kitchen i love the lighting that this kitchen has always has the almost has these recessed lightings above Bringing you guys this side with this stunning cabinetry work. You have this gray gloss finish to the cabinetry, well concealed, but just showing you guys what it is concealing. You have this press mechanism, which opens up to this sort of drinks or bar area where you have all these open shelving. You have a wine cooler that side, ice maker, everything really to be entertaining people. And one thing I will say about this home, if you do want to be entertaining people, very, very, um, there's, there's, you do have that option. So closing up the space here, as well behind you guys, you have a similar type of setup there where you do have this gloss finish to this cabinetry work. Here you do have a coffee station behind you. And let me just show you guys, similar type of opening where you have this coffee station. And one thing I do love about this cabinetry space, you can open it all the way press it there so that it's concealed and then it's all exposed beautiful well thought out and very functional so coming this side this is probably where the majority of the preparation will be this you have plenty cabinetry space and countertop space this side this is the this is the scullery or pantry area not lots of natural lighting pouring into here which is very nice and around the corner here, you do have the laundry facilities and also a, a dedicated cold room. This is a door that takes you out into the garden and then bring you guys back this side. And if you come here and you look at these views, absolutely incredible. And we'll touch on it. We'll actually finish the tour with the outdoor entertainment area. So do stick around. In front of us here, you do have the first study of the house very stunning i love the color palette that they did use here you do have these grays blacks and white cabin trees open shelving here and you do have your dedicated desk this window opens up into the the external side of the home where we did start the tour and as you can see in front of us you have this gorgeous sort of wine collection open shelving you can actually use this whole room as a dedicated sort of wine collection room, very flexible. Coming to back towards you guys, and I love these sliding glass doors that you can open up, and then it's just a seamless flow onto the next area. Bring you guys this side. So if that illustration or storage for your wine bottles isn't enough, and you have a few more wine bottles that you're looking to store, you do have a dedicated wine cellar here with plenty of storage, sort of an open shelving type of setup. These lights above us are automated, so as soon as you walk in, they do switch on. So coming back towards you guys and up these stairs, you do have, well, in the beginning when, I, when we were in the garage, I pointed out that one door that you do have access to the house. This is the door that brings you into the house. Maybe let me open it and show you guys. So this is the garage bringing you direct directly into the home. So coming back this side where we just came from and going to the other wing of the house, this house is perfectly separated from the more functional spaces to the bedrooms, um, which is on the other side. So coming back to this main landing area where we came in initially, one thing you will see throughout this entire home is this beautiful art 
everywhere which you, you do look. It's well, one thing I will say about the art pieces, it looks like it was well picked out for the spaces, which I absolutely love. In front of us, you do have a powder room, which for your guests is, is very stunning. I'll speak more towards the, the specific finishes and the quality of those finishes in the main bathrooms in the bedrooms. So coming towards this side, as I said, double French doors, which open up to this heated pool, which also has access to the front of the home and the, the other main pool. Very stunning. And behind this, you do have the second study of the home. Not common that you have two studies, but very stunning. Similar finishes where you have this open shelving, gray, white cabinetry finish, a gloss finish, and then, as I said, stunning artworks. This was actually um, the kids' artworks, which was repurposed and reframed. I think it's absolutely stunning. Stunning area here, you do have a, a window which opens up, or you can see the driveway from here. It also brings in natural lighting into this area here. And as well, you do have your surround sounds here. So going down here, this area here is where the bedrooms start. But before we get into the bedrooms, to my left, you do have a pajama lounge with the TV. This is probably the only TV in the house and I find that very refreshing and thoughtful. Very nice uh, or lounge here. Above us, you do have the skylights introducing some natural lighting into this space here. Very cozy, I must say. Coming to the first bedroom, this bedroom could could be potentially used as a guest bedroom, but very large bedroom. Even the blinds can be controlled in the house by your automated system. You have the window in front of you here. You have incredible views of the dam and also the landscape throughout and also the garden area. Another window that side with natural lighting. And I love the suspended sort of edge to that side of the room. So bringing you guys this side, Throughout these rooms here, you'll find you'll see this roller uh, mirror here with the cabinetry storage facility behind. So bringing you guys this side to this very beautiful bathroom, large shower head, and beautiful finish here. You have this very nicely textured tile finish, and then in front of us, standalone bath, floating vanity here, and sink. Mirror finish to this open shelving, very stunning. And you also have your skylight above us, water closet here, very beautiful and elegantly designed bathroom, which is very consistent throughout this entire home. So coming back to the main entryway or the main landing of this section of the home, going down the pathway, and I love these light fixtures that they have plugged in in the passageway. They introduce a little bit more ambience to the space. And looking above us, you do have another skylight, very consistent throughout this entire home and very, um, very specifically placed to introduce a lot of natural lighting to an otherwise very dark area. Beautiful suspended pendants here. And then to my right, you have the second bedroom. Very large as well, facing the same side, the, the backyard of the home, landscape, and then the dam in front of us, the R21. The, the nice thing about this home is that even though you can see the R21, the highway, you can't really hear it, which is very stunning or oh, amazing. Behind you guys, you do have the bathroom, natural lighting pouring into this bathroom large shower head, water closet, standalone bath with this standalone also mixer tap fixture here. And then you do have your floating vanity behind you guys. And then your whole uh, setup medicine closet behind there. Very beautiful, high quality materials. And also elegantly, the, pal the palette throughout this home is very elegant. So approaching the final bedroom on this floor, you get the master bedroom. So the master bedroom is over a hundred square meters of floor area. Now that is bigger than some two bedroom apartments. Very expansive bedroom here, but starting maybe to our right, you do have it, it does have its own lounge area with the fireplace, the window opening there, natural lighting to the space. And above us, you do have LED lighting hedging this whole bulkhead, very beautiful and elegant. And then you do have a rose-like light pendant, which is lit at the moment, giving you that white rose type of look there, very beautiful. So then coming this side, you have this 
gorgeous walk-in closet very much contemporary and elegant you have this circular light pendant above us very gorgeous i mean this is this is incredible this is up there with one of the best walk-in closets that we've seen around here hedging the space you have this white gloss finish cabinetry space throughout and the mirror giving you that illusion of space throughout this side if you guys come this side there's cabinetry space roller doors here of course soft finish or soft close finish to these uh, cabin trees and coming towards you guys here um, the, the, the finishes the high quality I'm just sometimes lost for words here very beautiful very airy feeling to this entire bathroom we have the skylight and as well the, the sliding door with the obscure glass is open at the moment giving you that fresh air flowing into this uh, bathroom on my left you do have this makeup section or nook here with led lighting either side of it and you do have cabinetry space beautiful turquoise a suede finish to this stool and then entering here double vanity here or double sink rather medicine closet open shelving and then in front of me you do have this heated towel rail which is consistent throughout all of these uh, bedrooms approaching this incredible living stone standalone bathtub and next to it you have this Hans grow tap mixture or tap fixture here and then this in front of us you have this gorgeous backlit onyx um, stone we've always wanted to see onyx on this channel i think this is the is this the first time that we see it yeah it's actually the second time but the last oh, time it was it's just a taster in the powder room in the 69 million rand home in cutting the country stay in waterfall oh yes i do forget about that home but yeah very stunning and it's just it increases the amount of ambience and luxury like luxurious feel in this whole entire bathroom coming to the side you have your water closet to my right and then you have this double rain water shower heads hans grow as well and then you do have a niche here to put any of your accessories that you want to be using very neat outlet there which is something that we've come to expect with this very high-end properties and then even outside here you do have this double the shower head here which <laughs> which is we've never really seen before you always have one shower head on your external or outdoor shower but here you have two so you can never be waiting to have your turn in the shower and then you have this beautiful seating spot here very tropical coming back into the bathroom the main area of the bathroom just one thing that we need to check is that if this water closet is soft closed but i do not have any doubts what do you think uh i back soft clothes yep soft clothes and we know we love that on this channel so going back into the main area of this bedroom very large bedroom i mean we've been here for or looking at the this bedroom for a couple of minutes now and we only in the bathroom and the walk-in closet we haven't even looked at the main area of this bedroom showing you the scale so approaching the main area of the bedroom you do have a secondary lounge area here and then this entire bedroom you can see the scale from here sliding doors opening up into the garden area but bringing that natural lighting into this room just pouring into this room and brightening up the space and i really much love this light fixture you do have this silkworm uh, ca cocoons here which are hedging the light fixture very stunning contemporary uh, light fixture and coming towards this side as well you have a, a sliding door opening up to the front yard of the this home as well that natural lighting to this home and then if you look above you do have this led lighting strips just in that bar or hedging this bulkhead and then suspended ceiling throughout and coming towards this side really love this wallpaper that they used this side of the the bedroom this gray type of finish with this small blue tints towards it very much contrasts with this white wall finish this side very stunning and then here you have the console here with this beautiful sort of timber wooden finish and then the marble finish on the countertop of it and then as i've said the artworks in this entire home absolutely incredible 
coming back to this side and finishing off the space here we've seen the three bedrooms on this floor and we've seen the, the two studies the living spaces and the next thing that we're going to be looking at is the bedrooms upstairs coming up these beautiful floating staircases and onto this landing here. One thing which is absolutely incredible about this space, the amount of natural lighting pouring into the space. But before we touch on that, I wanna to touch on this first bedroom. Here, you're greeted by this barn door which opens up perfectly into this bedroom here. This is one of two bedrooms on this floor, but as you can see, the proportions of this bedroom very much generous. Here you have the small lounge area leading you to this bedroom space. And as you will see throughout these bedrooms, you do have aircon units. As you saw in the main bedroom, you do have this LED lighting hedging the perimeter of this bulkhead. As well here, you do have your RGB mood lighting, which is very cool. It's changing colors at the moment. Find that very cool. Behind you guys, you do as well have this mirror finish to this cabinetry, which rolls open. And this is just your, your storage facilities behind that side. Open shelving, as you can see. So bringing you guys to the bathroom as well, you do have this barn door leading you to the bathroom. But before we get there, there's a very cool uh, wallpaper that they do have in this room specifically. And then in the other room, which we'll check now, you have a di slightly different one. So entering this bathroom, you have this beautiful solid timber uh, countertop here, sink, basin, open shelving, medicine closet, and then water closet and a large shower head, neat outlet, and then you do have your standalone bathtub here, very beautiful. And then coming back towards you guys, going back to the main landing, because one thing I did want to point out, the detail that, that I did want to point out on this main landing is the double volume ceilings that you do have from here absolutely stunning and as we spoke about in the beginning in terms of portions and scale of this home it's of palatial scale as you can see very traditional look and feel to this um, ceiling do you have a little bit of a, a game type of area here where you do have a pool table and then a driving simulation there this is you can almost use this as a man cave or an entertainment area, games room type of uh, area, as it does lead off to your patio or balcony, that side, which we'll check. So coming back, or coming into the second room rather, you do have a fireplace, window opening, table set up here as well. It's basically a mirror, mirror look or mirror finish to that other bedroom that we just saw, as you have your bedroom here, RGB lighting, mood lighting above us, cabinetry space here, tile finished throughout, and through this door, you do have your bathroom set up, which is very much similar to the one that we just saw. So coming back to this side and walking out to the balcony of this area here, you can be, if you are entertaining people and you are having guests over, this is an amazing space to set up, you do you currently have a little bit of soft furniture here, but this is an incredible space here to set up and have your whole functions here, complementing the downstairs area where we're going to be showing you guys. So coming back where we started and just pointing out one of the details which I was speaking about, in front of us there, I'm not sure if you guys can see where you do have that sort of steel structure, that's where the Cornwall uh, copy is, where the memorial site is situated and you do have a gate that has direct access to that copy there. But as you can see in front of us, very neat and lush tropical garden and as you can see hedging this garden you do have a driveway where you can be parking as i said 30 plus cars so coming towards this side you do have a covered patio this sitting space here and you have this 
beautiful furniture on this outdoor area lovely suspended sort of vegetation or plant pots you do have in front of us just sitting well in this lush environment very tropical and as from from here you can see the entire landscape the dam behind you guys and as we come down these staircases you do have this beautiful pool hedged by this these railings or balustrades rather and then coming down here beautiful pool and when you are swimming here you have these lovely furniture pieces here and you have this incredible views of this entire landscape so for those of you that did make it this far thank you so much for watching this video we always enjoy sharing these beautiful homes with you guys and as always if you haven't yet subscribed do go subscribe down in the comments. Let us know which areas you'd like us to tour next. Before we get out of here, I'd like to say massive thanks to Lisa Kelly for giving us this opportunity to share her listing with you guys. I'll put her details down below and also the details of this property down in the description. From myself, Atlas Prop Ben, to you guys, see you on the next one.